queen. The pink monster! She breakdances and knowledge checks you. I may look like a villain, but she plays like a villain. My environment destruction! Compliments Shigaraki's ability. So cool. Does obstruct the vision though. Her reset drift. Now she's going to pay the price, though a very small one. I wonder if you steal her quirk, will she turn into a human, and will you become pink and horny? Wow, the bounce out of the wall environment screwed up my confirm. Now the question is, to break or not to break? Just guard? As well, just guard. I cannot believe that I avoided the unblockable afterwards. This should kill. Plus ultra finish. Though I don't think it's gonna say plus ultra, but I don't think it should say plus ultra. It should say plus chaos. The reason they don't do this here is because when the game was released, plus chaos wasn't a fully developed concept that we now hear in Ultra Rumble. Cool just guard, but even cooler, when I was making Once Justice 2 new Shigaraki online battles, I predicted plus chaos. No kidding, did this edit in 2020. Damn the damage though! I'm here hyping myself up. You seen the, you seen this Mina doing Twitter combos? Meanwhile, my pathetic hand slaps. That's all I got. <laughs> Five projectiles, all point blank. Togachan, you had one job. How could you miss this? How? Do I waste twice now or not? I think I'll take the combo and I'll do what we always do. I'll come back. Still have twice. TWICE YOU HAD ONE JOB! Man, it's on me though, I took the goofiest members of League of Villains. I took Kuragiri and Dabi, they're responsible. No way that would've happened with Kuragiri and Dabi. Okay, so the main threat here is that this guy is about to have 3 meters. What 3 meters mean is... Uh, well... No spoilers, I suppose. Oh wow, they almost auto g me. This is where I would have used twice to convert into the combo, but he isn't available. No way! Dude, she got knocked down, but support stun locked me for so long that she was able to convert into a combo. And look at the damage of this combo! Pink menace! Sudden lag. It's all for one deep inside me. You you Man, I can't break. And I'm dead! I'm dead, dude! <laughs> it is a very cool combo, though. It looked very cool, but... I feel like if you're a beginner and you get hit by this, you go... Mom, I didn't want to play this game anymore. Let me check Ultra Rumble instead. <laughs> Ultra Rumble, we play this game in a team of three, but one dude just left. So I'm playing with Lemillion alone, and this happens often. Somebody will leave. Not that it matters too much, because you can carry alone. Especially if you have some bullshit DLC character. I have zero skills, so I'm not going to carry, I'm going to rely on the power of the plot. I'm in a situation where I have to synchronize with my teammate in either run or fight. I let my instincts roll on this one and... Uh, no. <laughs> or run. I like the way he fell. Was I not able to recover during that? Am I going to straight up die? Oh my god, this guy has the shields, I have no health. Oh 
Oh, I might kill him. I will use his own eyes as cover. Or better, I'm gonna go on this wall, and then when he comes up to me, I will jump on him and grab him. Unless he says run and runs away. Which uh, allows me to recover, because I still have no health. This is probably the most exciting part of this game, where you're just standing there and watching your thirsty character consume 7 liters of Blue Lagoon Mocktail, followed by 7 more liters of Mountain Dew, it's uh, incredible. But there is one way to make it all bearable, which is actually finding your teammate and moving together, which I should have done from the very beginning, but I was so mesmerized by my exciting encounter with Todoroki. Nobody's going to challenge this? Yeah. Oftentimes this happens, that you just go to the large chest and nobody contests it. You essentially get prime loot for free. I suppose this game teaches you to balance cautiousness with boldness in this life. That is a great skill to have. But I wish the loot itself was more exciting, like you bring out the map, call Machia, and then he destroys everything on that segment of map that you have chosen. Or maybe make it a kill streak reward or something, I don't know. It's just solid 60% of this game, you're just walking around and picking stuff up, trying to cooperate with your teammates using movement. Which is exciting to play, but not exciting to watch. Are you flipping kidding me? Can my character fly? I finally caught up to him. It was not easy. Lemillion's movement is insane in this game. Maybe just me though. Maybe I do not know the tech to move like this with Shigaraki. All I know is that I would not want Lemillion as my enemy. You are uh, witnessing the core of my combat strategy. It's uh, throw stuff in the direction of my opponent and at some point something will hit. Look for opportunities to land something juicy and snowball from there. I barely had any connection there. And I don't mean connection connection, I mean connection in... This is going to be really difficult to phrase without sounding weird, but... Like, there is no intimacy between you and your opponent. In a fighting game, you get to know what the person is like. Oh, this person panics easily and he mashes. Or, oh, this person is very composed and he will rather block all the time. Or, this player will use every single defensive mechanic, sell his own mother, but will not put himself in a situation where he's pressured and needs to guess a mix-up. In this game, you see none of that. Uh, in samurai terms, I sense nothing from my opponent's blade. I don't know, maybe I'm just romanticizing it. I'm not sure that people will get what I'm trying to say, but it's really difficult to express. I think maybe it even deserves some sort of philosophy video or something like that. Forget about it. I'm encountering the keystone of Shigaraki's weakness. It's uh, people that jump into the air and start flying all the time. Because my projectiles only travel by land. I really only shine in very cramped spaces. I want to lure them into the building if I can. Or maybe throw them into the building, like so. That is great. Now I just need him to not escape it. I can't believe he didn't die from that. He must have had everything. Full health, full shields. Drinking minigame, drink every time Shigaraki drinks. There aren't too many teams left. I don't even really need to search for them or do something. At this point I don't even need to level up that much. I only need to wait and they will find me in a very short time. Often I would cut right here using some cool anime transition or something like that, but I'm telling you, just a little bit of patience and you not treating your ADHD and remoting with double X speed forward and I will find some- oh, somebody found me! Here we go, Bakugo! He's not flying. Must be a scrub Bakugo. Or Bakugo on cooldown. He plus ultra though. I can't break this wall, right? I don't like that there are some buildings that you can destroy as Shigaraki and some that you can't. That confuses me as to which one is which. 
can hear Lemelia and Rampaging there. Probably making double and triple kills. Oh, come on! That is supposed to help me climb buildings. Okay, so how do I uh, lure him over here? Wow! Yes, you go over here. I'm about to die. The usual situation. <laughs> I wish that landed. That is so weird. I didn't even know if that was advantageous or not for me. I like how we're against Deku and Bakugo. A cannon arch nemesis. Bruh, I was literally 1% away from plus chaosing. What the... Holy <laughs> million! <laughs> Damn, dude. My hero. Straight up my hero. Putting unnecessary pressure on him, I have 2 seconds till I'm revived. Zero point... Oh! If we die, it's my fault. Okay, let's recap. Climbing buildings? Useless. Can't fly. Facing Bakugo. I think my only hope here is just to support Lemile. He's gonna take care of things. All I need to do is just be near him. Hold up, isn't that Todoroki from the beginning of the match? We meet again. For the last time! <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm doing something only a working man would understand, that is pretending to be helpful. He does not need that item, he doesn't need anything. But I'm just, oh look at this, I'm pinging you the item that you don't need. <laughs> doing something? I'm not useless. I see Bakugo. I see him through the wall. Okay. Sikoki coming in. Oh, if that grabbed him, that would have been so cool. That was the last one, right? We won, but... I feel like I, I got carried. What do you think? What was better? Pick your poison. Losing to a spectacular Mina combo in one's justice or getting carried in Ultra Rumble? 